Okay, welcome back to another RC Extra video. This is going to be a quick video where I show you how to bind a Sanwa M17 to a 481 and 482 receiver. If you're looking for the FH5 receivers that you know that come with the radio and some of the other optional ones, I have a separate video for that and you can find it a link in the details. So we'll cover these FH4 wireless receivers in this video. All right, so here we are in table view. I've got my um, M17 turned on and I already selected the e-buggy channel here. Um, if we go into menu mode and we go over to system, bind, um, and then we'll be in this RF mode. And so for the 481 and 482 receivers, we want to switch this to FH4T. And so we switch that and com confirm that, say yes. And then for the safety link, um, this safety link, I I always just as a rule of thumb match the model memory and so I'm in model memory three so I'm going to put that on three. Um, I will cover this safety link in a future video and explain it what what it does um, but as a rule of thumb it always defaults to one but I would recommend that you change it to the same model. Um, these response modes for me I'm going to leave all those in this the default. Um, if you have a Sanwa servo or a uh, um, Sanwa compatible servo then you could up those and get a higher response and so then I'm going to put it right there over bind before I do that bind though um, I've got the battery already plugged in there is a button on this back side of the receiver and you're gonna, I'm just gonna use this hex driver and push it and then power the car on. And you're gonna see that you've got a blinking blue light there. Um, so then you come to the radio and you hit bind and then you can hit stop and then power off. And so now you should have this fully bound. Yep. So we have that fully bound now. So that is how you set it up for the FH4 wireless receivers. And I hope you guys found this video useful. And uh, if, if you uh, found this useful, please subscribe to my channel and watch out for my other videos.